now we are at the last section or last ruku of surah al hajj a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim ya ayuhan nas dhurba masalun fastami'u lah inna allazina tad'una min dunillahi lan yakhluqu zubaban wa la yajtama'u lah wa in yasluhum zubabu shay'an la yastanqizuhu min ضَعُفَ الطَّالِبُ وَالْمَطْلُوبُ مَا قَدَرُ اللَّهَ حَقَّ قَدْرِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَقَوِيٌّ عَزِيزٌ اللَّهُ يَصْطَفِي مِنَ الْمَلَائِكَةِ رُسُلًا وَمِنَ النَّاسِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَمِيعٌ بَصِيرٌ يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ وَإِلَى اللَّهِ تُرْجَعُ الْأُمُورُ <coughs> يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا ارْكَعُوا وَاسْجُدُوا وَاعْبُدُوا رَبَّكُمْ وَافْعَلُوا الْخَيْرَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ وجاہد فی اللہ حق جہاد ہو اجتبا کم وما جال علیہ کم فدین من حرج ملتا بی کم ابراہیم ہو سما کم المسلمین من قبل و فی حاضا لیکون الرسول شہید علیہ کم و تکون شہدا الناس فعقیم الصلاۃ و آت الزکات و تصم بلّہ ہو مولا کم فن المولا و نعم النصیر صدق اللہ العظیم As I said before, this is one of the most profound places of the Qur'an. As, as, as I said last night, it's the general rule with the surahs of Qur'an that the ayat with which a surah begins and the ayat with which a surah ends, they are usually very comprehensive, very profound. And this is a very outstanding example. The first section of this surah was most profound about resurrection. Ya ayuhal nas, in kuntum fi raibim min al-ba'as, fa inna khalaqnaakum min turabin, summa min nutfatin, summa min alaqatin, and so on and so forth. And this is actually a summary of the call of Qur'an, which we find in these six ayat of the last section. But here this call of Qur'an has been divided into two parts. One part of the call of Qur'an is for the all mankind, Hindus, Sikhs, Christians, anybody. Because Muhammad was sent for the whole of humanity, not for Arabs. Now this call is for Iman. To them we can't say you should pray. He must first believe in Allah, he must first believe in the resurrection, he must believe in revelation, he must believe in Quran, he must believe in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then we can say, you should pray, you should fast. So any invitation for any action or deed is for the believers who say we believe. So these are two parts. Those people who don't believe, who are outside the pale of Islam, They are addressed here, Ya Yuhan Nas, O mankind. In four ayat, the basic three articles of faith, Tawheed versus Shirk, then Iman bin Risala, institution of messengerhood, and then Tayama and resurrection. These are the basic things which must be accepted by a person to be able to be addressed as Ya Yuhan Lazeen Amanu. But then the last two ayat, they are, Ya ayyuhal lazeena amanu. Now the call is for action. Whosoever says, I believe in Allah and in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and in Quran and in his action, now he has to do something. So the first call is the call to Quran, to, to Iman, and this is for the whole mankind. The second part of call is the call of action. But here they are addressed who say we believe. Ya ayyuh al-lazeen amanu zoriba masalun fastabi'u lah. Now those who don't believe, at that time they were the worshippers of the idols. So to them a similitude is being struck. O mankind, a similitude is struck. So listen it attentively. Fastabi'u lah. Samia yasma'u to listen and istama yasma'u to listen attentively. This is the word which appears in Quran in Surah Al-Araf. فَإِذَا قُرِيَ الْقُرَانُ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ When Quran is recited, you must listen to it very attentively. What is that similitude? إِنَّ الَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ 
these idols, these gods whom you are calling upon besides Allah, they can't even create a fly. What to speak of the creation of these heavens and earth and this moon and sun? Although they might gather together, all of them, but they can't create. Creator is only one. And this they accepted. If you ask them who created the heavens and earth, they will say Allah. They didn't say that these idols or these, you know, Laat, Manat, Uzza, they have created the world. Creator, they accepted, He was Allah only. And if the fly snatches away something from them, they cannot take it back from them. Very feeble is indeed the seeker and the sought. Now these three words, they are most basically philosophical words. Every human being has some ideal in his life. And if a human being doesn't have an ideal in his life, some goal in life, some aim, some rasmul ayn, then he is just like animals. He is not a human being at all. The animals don't have any aim of life. You are using them. You are exploiting them. But the human beings, if he is real human being, he has a goal. He has fixed some ideal for him. Some adarsh in, the, in, in Hindi they say adarsh. Nasmulayan in Arabic. Some goal, some ideal. Now if the ideal is low, that man will also be low in character. The ideal is high, the character of that person will also rise. Corresponding, if the ideal is low, then you are low in morality. If your ideal is high, you yourself go up in morality and character. Now, actual matloob is Allah. You must love Him. He is the matloob. As we have in Surah Al-Baqarah. Those who believe, they have the, the strongest love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the matloob. Who is matloob? La matlooba illallah. La maqsooda illallah. La mahmooba illallah. This is the crux of tawheed. La matlooba illallah. If Allah is matloob, your character will go up and up and up. Just like, so to say, the character of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His matloob was Allah. But whosoever has a lower ideal, then he will himself steep low in morality. Ma qadarullah ka qadrahi. They have not esteemed Allah with the true esteem due to him. Now what concept we have of Allah? These mushrikeen, they thought he's a big king. Okay? He's a big king. But the king has also, you know, there are, there are ranks and files in the armies. And the king is nothing without the army. So, Allah has also some subordinates and he needs their help. So, that was, and that is the shirk that they have committed. Because they couldn't understand, they couldn't think that Allah can be so powerful that he doesn't need anybody. He can control the whole universe himself. He has created angels, but not that because he needs them. He has created, but he can control the whole universe every moment himself. So Allah is very powerful, very powerful, omniscient, omnipotent. So there can be no higher ideal than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If somebody can esteem Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the true esteem, he will have him only as the ideal and matloob and nothing else. Ma qadarullah haqqa qadrih inna Allah la qawiyun aziz. Verily, Allah is very powerful, strong, mighty. Now comes the second article of faith, and that is the institution of messengerhood. Allahu yastafi min al malaikati rusulan wa min al nas. Now this messengership of Allah has two links. Allah has to send down His message to the common human beings. He takes two links. First of all, He gives His message to the angel. He is closer to Allah. He was created out of light. 
سو اللہ گیوز دس میسج ٹو ہوم ٹو دی اینجل ناؤ اینجل برنگز اٹ ٹو دی مین ہو ہیز بین سلیکٹیڈ محمد فار ایگزامپل صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سو دیر آر ٹو میسنجرز ان بٹوین ناؤ محمد کنویز دی میسج ٹو دی ٹو ہز فیلو مین صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سو فرام اللہ ٹو دیز کامن پیپل دیر آر ٹو لنکس ان بٹوین دی ون میسنجر از دی اینجل دی ادر میسنجر ہی از آلسو میسنجر ہی ہیز براڈ دی میسج فرام اللہ ٹو محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سو میسنجر نمبر ون از دی اینجل میسنجر نمبر ٹو از دی میسنجر فرام امنگ ہیومن بینگس اٹ واز سم ٹائمز اٹ واز نو سم ٹائمز اٹ واز ہود سم ٹائمز اٹ واز سالے سم ٹائمز اٹ واز موزز سم ٹائمز اٹ واز جیسز سم ٹائمز از محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ یستفی من الملائکۃ الرسل و من الناس اللہ چوزز فرام ان اینجلز آلسو میسنجرس اینڈ فرام مین کائنڈ آلسو ان اللہ سمیع البصیر ویری لی اللہ از آل سینگ آل لسننگ یا علم و ما بین آئے دیہ و ما خلف ہوں ہی نوز وٹ ایور از بفور دم اینڈ وٹ ایور از ان بہائنڈ دم وائل اللہ تر جعل امور اینڈ آل دی میٹرز ول فائنلی بی ریٹرن ٹو اللہ فار فائنل ججمنٹ This is resurrection and this is the day of judgment. So these are the three articles of faith which have been summarized here in four ayat. Tawheed versus shirk. Institution of messengerhood. This messengerhood continuing of, con, being consisting of two links. The angel messenger and the man, human messenger. And then returning to the Lord for the final judgment and for the reward. Now the address comes to those who say we believe in these things. Now you and I, we are being addressed. Ya ayyuhal lazeena amanu. Oh, those who believe, who profess to believe, who say, who claim that they believe in Allah and His unity. And they believe in the institution of messengerhood. And that Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Quran is the last message of Allah. And who believe in resurrection and they are the life hereafter. Now, There are commands for action. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanul ka'u. Bow before your Lord. Was judu. Prostrate before your Lord. Wa'abudu rabbakum. And worship and be bondsman to your Lord. I explained this ibadah. It has two elements. Total obedience. Total obedience. And strong love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ruku sujood. These are the two members of Salah, our namaz, our prayer. But then you should not only pray, you should not only fast, you should not only do the Hajj. You have to obey a life, all of your life, all aspects, your individual life, your collective life, your community life, your political life. Everywhere you have to be a bondsman to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa'abudu rabbakum. Wa'fanul khair. Something more also. Do good deeds. Now the question can arise. The Salah has been mentioned. Ruku has come. Sajda has come. And total obedience has come. Now what remains for which there is these words. You know obedience is to the command that has been given. Do this. Don't do this. This is obedience. Over and above that. If you devote yourself for the service of mankind. This is. وَفْعَلُوا الْخَيْرِ خَيْرُ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَنْفَعُوا النَّاسِ When you have paid zakah, well, you have done your duty. Obedience is okay. But no, spend more, give more. Till such time, retain with you only what is necessary for you. Don't retain anything which is extra, surplus with you. Give it away. So this is وَفْعَلُوا الْخَيْرِ This is not obligatory. This is voluntary. You can do it if you like. If you don't want, don't do it. But, بَفْعَلُوا الْخَيْرِ But service of humanity. Now there are I, once I made a speech here in some hotel, in function of this very center, the service has three levels. Number one, you feed a hungry. It's a service to mankind. You arrange for treatment for a sick person. It's a service. Okay? And this concept of service is common to all humanity. Hindus, Sikhs, Parsis, Isais, they are low. These are good deeds. Everybody must do it. But then there is the service number two. 
and that is the real service try to save them from the fire of hell if you have fed them here the fire of hunger in their stomachs you know you have extinguished but they are going to be thrown into the fire of hell forever and you are not caring for that so dawa ila allah call towards allah so that these people can be saved from the eternal fire of hell that is the biggest service this was the service you know that that general service muhammad was doing from the very beginning before bahi had started to look after the orphans and the widows and to feed the hungry that he was doing already but after the wahi started now what was the service which he was doing to save people from the fire of hell calling them toward the right path oh people take to the right path come to sirat e mustaqim believe in allah alone worship him alone so that you are saved from the doom in the hereafter and the third level is to establish the just social order here in this world you are feeding the hungry good work but why are they hungry they are hungry due to the unjust distribution of wealth in your system the wealth has been accumulated with certain people and the rest are going hungry now you are feeding the hungry but you are keeping that system as such you must shatter this system and you should establish the system of social justice so that hunger is eliminated otherwise how many hungry will you be able to feed you must change this system and this is called iqamatu din to establish the system of social justice that has been given by allah subhanahu wa taala in the form of deenul haq through muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so these are the three levels of service to humanity now you do these four things la'allakum tuflihun only then you can hope to have salvation don't think that only because you say we believe you have the salvation oh no tilka amaniyum they are this is their wishful thinking they have fabricated these aqaid for them there's no guarantee from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la'allakum tuflihun Oh, you who believe, oh, you who profess to believe, bow before your Lord, prostrate before your Lord, be a total obedient and servant to Him, and do good deeds so that you attain salvation. Now, if salvation can be attained without these things, this is meaningless passage. Then it is conditional. Walasr inna linsana na fi khusr illa lazid amanu amir salihatu wa tawasu bil haq wa tawasu bil sabr. the starting point of that selected course of study of quran which i mentioned in my last lecture the basis is suratul asr by the token of time by the fleeing time all mankind is doomed except those who come to believe and who do good deeds and who exhort each other something which is true and good and they exhort each other to persevere in the way of truth unless you fulfill these four conditions you are doomed in the same way if you want to have the salvation ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu rkau wasjudu wa abudu rabbakum wa falu alkhaira la'allakum tuflihun and this is not all wa jahidu fillahi haqqa jihadihi and make jihad in the way of allah as much as is the right of allah He is your creator. He is your sustainer. Just imagine how much right he has over you, and how much are you working for him? And what is what this jihad for? To establish that system of social justice. Do you have to make jihad? These exploiters will never give up their exploitation. These oppressors are never ready to give up their oppression. These discriminators they will never give up discrimination. You, have, you will have to fight them out. Muhammad had to fight them out. There can be no better preacher, no better teacher than Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But he had to go to fight against those people. Otherwise, injustices cannot be finished. Exploitations cannot be put an end to. These things will continue. Jahidu fillahi haqqa jihadi. 
میں ایک جہاد ان دی وے آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ایز مچ ایز ہی از دی رائٹ آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی and we had the word istifa allah yastafi min al malaikati rusulan we read it and from istifa is the word mustafa muhammad mustafa and for istifa is mujtaba ahmad mujtaba this word is used for the for the messengers so as an ummat we are messengers of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah sent his messenger muhammad and muhammad assigned this messengerhood to us on the day of his last pilgrimage when he said now the burden has shifted from my shoulders to yours fal yuballighi shahidul ghaiba jahidu fi llahi haqqa jihadihi huwa ittabaakum he has selected you wa ma ja'ala alaykum fi ddin min haraj he has put no impediments in your way in religion millat abikum ibrahim because the first addressees are who banu ismail so this deen which muhammad has brought for you well this is the deen of ibrahim your your grandfather Abikum Ibrahim huwa sammaakum al-mus Allah has given you the name of muslimin you are the people who have surrendered themselves to the will of Allah min qablu wa fi hadha before also or here also li yakuna ar-rasul shahidan alaykum so that our messenger becomes witness against you he will stand on the day of judgment and testify oh Allah your message which came to me through Jibreel i had conveyed to them now they are responsible they are accountable in the same way you will be required to stand up and say oh allah the message which we received through muhammad we had conveyed it to the whole humanity and if we fail to do it then we are the culprits the blame will come to us people can sue us in the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh allah they had your book they claimed that they are the umma of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but they never conveyed to us your message never rather their own actions were just contrary they were saying something else doing something else this is the position la yakuna rasul shahidan alaykum wa takunu shuhada ala nas fa aqimus salata wa atus zakah so establish salah and zakah وَاتَسِبُوا بِاللَّهِ and cling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hold fast to him هُوَ مَوْلَاكُمْ he is your protector فَنِعْمَ الْمَوْلَى how good a protector he is فَنِعْمَ النَّسِيرِ how fine a helper he is 